Okay, I normally try to remove things and salvage everything, but this choke cover is the post is was set in here and wasn't budging at all, wasn't gonna budge, and rather than twist it off, I just went ahead and cut the top of it off. It was a nail, it looks like a nail head more than anything. But if you look down inside of it, it's a good reason for me to get in there because it is full of crud. And that's not good. So, got to clean that out. And I've already started cleaning. I took the compensator plate off. And so I can get in here and get this crud out. Because I don't need to have a, a carburetor that is full of debris. <clears throat> it will just simply cloak up, close up the system. So, that's where I'll be today. I'm going to have to finish getting this post out. It did not look to be threaded. It looks to be pushed in and spread. So I'm going to see if I can push it out. And now that I can get a better access to it without destroying the uh, choke cap. Which here is the choke cap. It's in fair shape. It'll clean up and be usable. But like I say, it's set right here with a, with a little nail. It looks like a nail head on top. So and a spring on, underneath and the spring is totally frozen and corroded so I've got to take and clean all that out so <clears throat> all these so called easy projects they turn into long ones okay after several minutes of thramming around I finally got that post out of this choke side all it was is a steel pin that had been spread on this end I'll recreate it and get a new spring because the spring is on it is garbage this side came off fairly easy after a little heat to get that compensator plate loose I'm going to have to put this back in the soup and let it cook for some more see if it can't clean out some more of this internal debris but here we be